कि क्या पहन के वो कंफर्टेबल रहेंगे और फिर ब्रिस्बेन के वेदर के अकॉर्डिंगली इट्स इट्स सो हार्ड टू गेट वट दे वो Namaste. My name is Shamin Thomas and I'm with Indoors Television. Welcome to my hangout. This is a contemporary lifestyle segment where we will be talking all things food, fashion, beauty, makeup, skincare, home decor, khana pina and much more. What are we waiting for? Let's get started and let's hang out. You are wondering where I am right now. Hold your breath because today we are going to be talking all things Indian fashion. With the festive season right here, we have so much to talk about and things are looking very exciting at the moment. So, let me introduce to you my first guest today, Ruchi Sharma. This is Desire Indian Boutique. which is run and managed by Ruchi but before we got to desire she actually lived in melbourne she's lived here uh, she comes from a background of customer service and hospitality she has worked with several renowned hotel chains and retail outlets she's also worked at the brisbane international airport working with luxury brands such as parker raban carolina herrera etc ruchi started desire indian boutique in 2019 in a partnership Since 2020 she has been running and managing it by herself. Let's get ready to meet Ruchi. Welcome to the show Ruchi. Thank you. So first things first, I want to know Ruchi, how what inspired you to start Desire Indian Boutique and get into Indian fashion? Um it's just the requirement because when pehle hum log dekhte the ki kahan se kapde khareede hain kya pehne regular wear ke liye party wear ke liye and very limited choices hum logon ke paas thi pehle aur like hum log australia mein aaye hain 2007 mein aur tab se leke ab tak abhi to bahut changes aa gaye hain but uh, and during covid as well kuch bhi available nahi tha aur uh, us samay it came into my mind ki we'll start something and uh, that time kuch hum logon ka job retendency wagera bhi chal raha tha i was not sure if i'll be working or not and uh, बस तभी से शुरू हुआ ये रेगुलर क्लोदिंग से पार्टी वेयर ऑल दो आई गॉट अ जॉब स्ट्रेट अवे बट वेन आई फेल इन लव विद क्लोदिंग बिजनेस इट्स जस्ट इट कीप्स ऑन ग्रोइंग इट्स जस्ट लाइक माई बेबी absolutely well said it is uh, absolute like a baby uh, and your baby is uh, about 3 3 and a half years yes. old now yes so ruchi tell me something a little bit about your collection so you've got some contemporary you've got some classics uh, how do you kind of balance uh, what you need to get you know how how do you source your uh, your you know the beautiful pieces in your collection it's the requirement uh, so i have when i started it was just few pieces and then i have clients coming up they like my choice it's not what you get what you don't get it's your choice what people like and same with food as well if your taste is well people will like that so clothing business is the same thing if uh, you like to wear something you can order that for your clients and if clients like it and that's how i get my uh, clothing so from simple i have customers who want simple they don't want too much like too me. much of a work <laughs> <laughs> yes and uh, so uh, that's the main thing just understanding ki kya chahiye un logo ko ki kya pehen ke wo comfortable rahenge aur fir brisbane ke weather ke accordingly uh, it's it's so hard to get uh, what they want that's but right. yes that's that's what i uh, try to get jo bhi unko chahiye hota hai uske accordingly customization chahe ready made just finding the right uh, suppliers to get these things That's right. And I think that brings up a really uh, interesting point, you know. I mean, there's Instagram, there's Facebook, there's films, and trends are constantly oh, changing. That's true. So, how do you keep up with these trends? Uh, you know, when people come to you, do they tell you, "Oh, I, you know, I want Alia Bhatt sari." <laughs> uh, you know, what what is it that you get to hear from people around and how do you keep up with these trends? Just 
you have to order continuously. You have to keep yourself updated about the fashion. So just watching movies and <laughs> <laughs> and especially that, when something that's a comes fun up. Way to keep up with, with trends. <laughs> yes, and uh, especially uh, if someone um, like if someone wants Alia Bhatt and uh, style, but. Uh, <laughs> And we we can't get everything, but yes, trying to get that kind of style and fabric which will suit you, suit the requirements here. So yes, it's just the customers. They they guide me to the right direction. That's what we want, and I try to uh, fit my uh, like their budget, their requirements, their fabric need, everything, and uh, customizing it according to that. So when you say customize, can you tell us a little more about how you customize outfits for people? Is it just sizes or does it go beyond that? Uh, it goes beyond that as well. It's not only sizes. Uh, it's the designing as well. So I keep some samples, but they are just like if someone is big size and they want something uh, which is not too much of uh, like big neckline and other things. So yes, customizing it according to their requirement. Size plus the material they want to use. They don't want to use silk, so just if they are big sizes or so just getting georgette or something very soft, flowy kind of material. Right. Uh, right now it's muslin silk and um, uh, soft organza, they are in trend. So keeping right. it up with the uh, trend in the fabric as well. So it's not only the fashion, it's the fabric. Absolutely. Uh, and, and you're so saying that fabrics also keep changing. That's correct. That's, that's, that's every day we are getting something new coming up in the market. So. Right. Uh, what about colors? Do you feel like every season has a different color palette? Uh, do you see certain times of the year when certain colors are selling more? Yes, uh, nowadays it's it's the trend. So if there is a wedding happening, they just said it's a floral uh, theme. Yeah. Themes according to themes, it's going on. But um, pastel shades, they are always popular. Yeah. So you can't go wrong with pastel. And yes, of course, there are bright colors. Bright shades are always there. Uh, so just mixing and matching. So it's not only you can't order all the pastel shades. If you see my collection, it's a combination of everything. Yes. So black and white, they, they never go wrong as yes. well. So I have to have collection of blacks. I have to have collection of whites, pastels, red, blue, green, and you know, all the colors. So just mixing and uh, making a balance. I think, Ruchi, the great part about your collection is that you have something for everyone, <laughs> for all age groups. Uh, you know, I feel, uh, you know, older people, younger people, middle-aged, uh, you know, uh, you have the classics, you have the contemporaries. Um, now, as a boutique owner, what are some of the challenges you face on, on an everyday basis or, you know, how, how do you deal with uncertainty in your business? <laughs> Uncertain things are basically because these are all um, coming from India. So at times the couriers are delayed. So right. I always suggest my customers to give me enough notice yes. that uh, if you want something next week, so please, uh, you know, just go ahead, like just buy something which is available. If you want to customize, give me at least 15, 20 days time. Right. I did some customization within one week's time as well mm -hmm. with express shipping. So I did some... Uh, you know, some of the things, very crazy things as well. But <laughs> I got so scared for those kind of things. So I don't want to take that risk. So yes. if you want to customize something, you want something in particular, please do let me know uh, in advance. And uh, yes, um, the second thing is um, when we are customizing, the prices slightly go up. Yes. So some customers ask that why this is so expensive and uh, the cost why. So we are getting what you want. Yes. So you want some specific kind of button. You can get that. You can get specific sure. kind of uh, fittings, uh, designing, embroidery, fabric. We can get it. So like these all things, just finding these things and organizing these things. So that will make the clothing slightly expensive. Absolutely. <laughs> and I think you get what you pay for, yes. <laughs> most certainly. So, yeah. And I, I love the point that you bring up about, uh, you know, putting different buttons, putting different necklines yes. to suit people's uh, taste, to suit their body shape yes. uh, and to uh, suit their mental satisfaction. And this is how I want to look uh, yes. today. So that's wonderful. Congratulations, Ruchi. Now, before we go, Ruchi, I want to ask you, what would you like to tell our viewers today? I want three styling tips from you. 
Okay, um, just so weather conscious, so we have to think everything about uh, as per the weather. It's getting hot now, so go for some muslin fabrics, not too heavy. And for men, we have um, latest Georgette kurtas uh, with a little bit of sequence work as well. Uh, they are gorgeous. They look very um, elegant and you can wear them anytime. And um, third one, I would suggest like for wedding season, it's coming up. Just make advance bookings, so <laughs> <laughs> don't don't wait till the last don't moment. Leave it for the last yes, minute. so well, if <laughs> nothing else, last minute is trending. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much, Ruchi, Thank for you. joining Thank you, us. Wish you uh, the best with your venture. What an insightful session that was with Ruchi and Pari. I am absolutely amazed and I cannot wait to flaunt off those beautiful colors that we saw in their collection. The pastels are simply beautiful. The fabrics are flowing. I hope you enjoyed the session as much as I did. We'll be back with much more. To end this, let me just say, be yourself and don't be afraid to flaunt your confidence. See you next time on Let's Hang Out.